Hey, how's it going guys? Derek here from Addictive Tips. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can back up your Opera browser settings. So as you can see, I've got the Opera browser open. It's pretty generic. There's not a whole lot of stuff going on, but you know, I still wanna keep it the way it is because of my profile and my history that I've got going on. So if I wanna back it up, first I'm gonna open up my article that I have linked in the description and I'm gonna open up a terminal. Now the first thing I need to do is I need to run the uh, ls command inside of the config folder. So I can do ls config like so. Now if you look through you can see that there's a lot of stuff but here is the Opera browser. That's where all the Opera browser configuration files are and if you need to you can always do ls grep inside of the config folder. So now we know it's there, we can move into the config folder like so, and uh, we can go ahead and compress the Opera browser files. Now, before we start this, you should make sure you close the browser because if it's open and you're using it, you might miss some stuff. Some stuff might not be saved right. So let's close that browser. Then we can simply copy this command here, and now this will create our backup. And now we're gonna see if I run an ls command here, we'll be able to, let's see, grep tar gz, just to make it easier to find. We can see our backup is right here. Now from here, if we want to, we can move the backup to the home folder. And I can open up my home folder right here, and we can see this is our Opera browser backup right here. Now from here, you can take this, you know, I can put this in my Dropbox folder and sync it with the internet, but the problem is is that if I open this, you know, anyone has access to my browser configuration settings, has access to my shortcuts and my history and my logins and everything. So that's not good. If you're only uh, saving this on like an external hard drive or something, you probably don't need to encrypt it, but I would highly recommend doing it anyways. So to encrypt it, you need to make sure you have GPG installed. Now GPG, you can tell it's installed by just running the GPG help command. If it's installed, it will tell you it's it's there and all the information on what you can do with it. So from here, we need to move to the home folder, like so. And then we need to compress with GPG. You know, we need to encrypt it, our backup, like so. Now once you type in that command, it's gonna come up with a pop-up window. You can enter a secure password and uh, enter it twice. Now it's going to encrypt. Now if we go back to the home directory in my file manager, we can see there's the encrypted folder and here is the unencrypted folder. And if I try and open this, it's not going to do anything. It'll try to open up mousepad, but mousepad isn't going to do anything, whereas the unencrypted one, it will. So from here, we need to remove the unencrypted backup because people have access to it. When we go back here, we can see it's gone now. And uh, we have the backup encrypt it and now I can just put this directly into my Dropbox folder sync it like so to the internet now I have information on how you can restore this backup to your system so if you're curious on how to do that please check out the link in the description but this is how you can back up your Opera browser settings on Linux I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one